So, today's the day we fit windows into the van, plot twist. The windows that I have got absolutely zero experience on fitting. Could possibly go wrong. trying to decide what the better of two evils is do we want the windows running parallel through or the windows windows to be centered in the panels and all the windows are different sizes i think it might be time for a coffee <clears throat> so because we already had the top windows which are the rubber seal knocking job it i don't even know the real name for them but that type style of window because they was already in the top we decided we need to match that up and have the same windows in the side of the van um my initial thought was to have two large windows one in the side loading door and then one in this panel here um so when you sat in the van and you parked up maybe at the side of the road with some beautiful scenery you've got a nice panoramic view of the scenery and also my other thought was not having any windows in the other side of the van would mean if that side is on the road, it's stealth. But then I thought to myself, when you're 3.5 metres tall, with windows in your roof extension and solar panels to cobble dogs with, it's about as stealth as an aircraft carrier. So we're changing our plan up a little bit. The other issue was that inside the van this is lovely this panel isn't big enough to take one of the larger windows so that kiboshed that idea as well unless we're going to start hacking this out which i didn't really fancy doing so the original two windows that i had was one sliding and one fixed aren't going to work unless i put one in a slide side loading door and one in this side. So my other option now is to find more windows, which I've done. So these are the original two windows I got. One fixed pane of glass with all the rubber trims and one sliding. Need to clean. Uh, these have just been sat in somebody's spare parts van for God knows how many years getting pebble dashed in bird crap. But clean them up, they're gonna look lovely. However, they're no good for us now. So we've managed to pick up an extra sliding window here, which is going to go into that smaller area. And then we also got another hall of two sliding windows and two fixed rear windows. So the question is now, apart from the small sliding window, which we know where that's going, that's going in that small, can't, can't wait to where that works, area there. Where are the rest of them going? I'm thinking of a sliding window in the side door and a sliding window in the opposite side. Um, but each window is a slightly different size and shape. So we need to match them up the best we can and then work out how you fit them. Because I've only ever fitted bonded windows. So this window 
is 460 mil tall those two windows are 470 mil tall that window is 480 mil tall that window is 510 mil tall now because of this I would like to have this window set right in the middle but if I do that then it's going to throw it out for the next window because it's going to have to be set up to miss uh, the sliding door rail so I'm going to have to have this window set in the middle of there and then this window running so the tops line up with each other but then that's going to send this window out of square right decisions have been made so we're going with a 460 small sliding in for the rear one and the 480 sliding for the one in the side loading door now this is really uh taxing our brains because you will be able to see this but this here where we're going to cut to for the this window is actually lower than the panel don't actually look on there but believe me it is so we can't just cut to both of those tops or the windows are going to be at different heights on the outside so what we're thinking now is as i say i've never ever fitted this type of window before we're going to come in five mil below this line drill a hole through that gives us a center mark on the outside to offer the window up draw around it then add five mil for the thickness of the rubber which is then going to take us back up to this mark when we cut and then the bottom will be whatever the bottom will be so phase two of the plan is now we've got a center hole there if we offer the window up to that and draw around it then add five mil to it, that will then take us back to that top ridge. It's a plan. locking trim in the middle and then put down the tripod so this sometimes need a screwdriver especially if it's in the van and then that goes on the inside all the way around then from paracord around the inside lip in here so this, this opens up so you run your paracord in there then push it in the window Last one we did. 
Evet. exactly go to plan we did grind up around the edges but not enough apparently because there's just a few little bits that are just throwing it out and when the old second hand rubber hit one of these lumps that are sticking out ever so slightly it split it I don't know how we're going to fix that I'll have to order a new one and repair that one with Sikaflex for the time being just to make sure no rain comes in but I need to get this hole very very neat and tidy apparently These two are in now. We've got new methods and everything. So, the hole for your window has to be absolutely perfectly accurate, no room for error, not a millimetre, not nothing. If it's not right, it won't fit. You've got to file the edges down, make sure they're nice and trim. And we found using the rope method where you put the um, the cord around the outside then pull it back out um, was tearing the rubbers now I think that's because the rubbers are old and second hand so any tiny little bit where it had perished the rope would get into that and as you pull it just starts splitting um, so we jumped onto YouTube and had a look and then a guy was just using like a normal glazing tool putting it in and then just pickling the rubber in as he went and using that method with a bit more trimming and, and making sure the windows are in the right place we've actually managed to get um, these two windows fitted. This one we're going to try cutting from the inside with the nibbler. Um, so I'm just at the minute taking the supports out. You can see that's that support out there. I've cut this one. So these just pull off, these are just glue it on. So I won't be able to do it with one hand like, but I don't know how well look at that. That's my own strength. Yeah, maybe not. Fail. But so once they're pulled off, uh, I'm going to run around, might get that marked up properly. Uh, run round it with a nibbler, cut that one out, um, and then hopefully, I'm not going to tell you how long this uh, it's taken to put these windows in, it's embarrassing, um, but yeah, yeah I am. In between jobs for other people, I think I've been putting these windows in for a week now, just jumping on it for an hour here and there, uh, trying it, checking it out, tidying it up a bit more, um, yeah it's been a nightmare, I won't fancy doing any more, problem is, Kyle wants some putting in his van as well. You see, another thing is, 
every time you put it in and it don't fit, then you've got to take it out, you've got to grind it back off, wherever it was tight, get it down another mil or so. Then you've got to file it all. Then you've got to prime it all and try it again. So those two windows took quite a few in, out, ground, grind, file, prime and forever. But this window is going in first time. Not really happy with that. There's no glue on this bottom part where we don't need. So I'm going to glue that because, oh well, you can see that, but that panel's just got no structural integrity whatsoever now. It's like a screwball, but it's got skittles in it. I've got these two bottom corners in, that sucker's age, so I'm just going to have to stand here and hold my ice cream. <laughs> yeah, completely got <don't> you. <laughs>
it back over on this side and push it. If I'd ever seen one of these windows again, it'd be too soon. Well, pickling it in with two screwdrivers is certainly not the right way to do it, but it's worked. But yeah, not looking forward to doing these on Kyle's van or any other van ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Yeah, they are a pin too, but we just need to put these locking rubbers in now. I've done it on the other windows. Uh, that's where this really cheap um, glazing tool that I got off Amazon is going to come in to help you. So I'll show you. This bit of the job's nearly as much for pinning the ass as the rest. Uh, but you put a bit of lubricant. Oh, way too much. Push that around. And then basically, bit like the corner was already in it there. So you're going to use this to open up the two. And then push that rubber in. Hey? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm doing. I'm Get in there slowly. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. what I'm doing but you get the picture every bit of this window is a pain in the ass yeah so I am glad that job is over There you are, windows in. If you was expecting a tutorial, I do apologise. Because I would not copy anything we did putting them in. But they're in. They're in, the level. Well, 
that side. Watching the nice one above it look. Ooh. We've got two sliders down this side. Oh, it's not a fan of yet. They're in. Uh, if anyone wants any of them doing, get someone else to do it. But, um, so we've done the windows. I believe we're going to be on with the electrics, which I'm dreading. Uh, quite a lot of stuff going in here. So, if you want to see me scratch my head for an hour, on time lapse because it'll actually take a week don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, press the bell notification so you're notified when the video comes out but until then see you next time